In this video we're going to take a look at creating a realistic sketch effect. Now the first thing we need to do is come to the layers panel. We're going to duplicate our background layer and we're going to do that by using a shortcut. The shortcut is Command J on a Mac, that's Command J, or Control J, that's Control J on a PC. And there it is, we've just duplicated our background layer, giving us layer 1. Now with layer 1, we need to desaturate this. Now we can come to enhance, we can drop down to adjust color, we can come down to remove color, and there's the shortcut Shift Command U. It's Control Shift and U on a PC. So try that. Control Shift U, Command Shift U, and there it is. You have just desaturated layer 1. Layer 1, we're now going to duplicate. So uh, once again, it's Command J, Control J to duplicate the layer, giving us layer 1 copy. Now with this layer, we're going to, don't worry, we're getting there. Now with this layer, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a negative look. Now to give us the negative look, we simply use Control and the letter I, that's Control I on a PC. It is Command the letter I, that's Command and I on a Mac. And there it is, there's our negative looking picture. But we're not going to stop there either. We're going to come to the blend modes. We're going to change the blend mode from normal. We're going to drop down to Color Dodge. And when you use color dodge you'll notice the way it disappears but don't worry we can bring it back we can come to filter we're going to drop down to other we're going to come across to minimum and when minimum opens this is the look we've got now i've got the hand tool selected so i just need to press command or control every time i click down we can zoom into the picture let's just lift it to the side now minimum is exactly what it says on the can it's the minimum amount we need to use with this to get the best results. For example, if I take it up, no, we're not going to use that. So dropping it right the way down, let's try one. Looking at one there, that looks pretty good. Let's just pull it up to two. Doesn't look a huge amount of difference, but uh, I think that's going to work. Going for two, I'm going to click OK. Watch what happens to the image. It does tone down very slightly. Now, if we just take a look, this is how the layer looks. We've got that negative look. We're in the color dodge blend mode. We can't do a huge amount, but we can do some basic editing. For example, we can darken down the eyes and we can remove the distraction from the background. So let's take a look at doing that. The first thing I'm going to do is press D on the keyboard. What's that going to do? Well, it's going to restore the default colors. So pressing D on the keyboard, and there it is. There's our default colors, black being the foreground, white being the background. Let's pick up a paintbrush rather large brush so I'm going to drop it down in size. Let's just come to the uh, tool options. We can drop it down in size by using the sliders here or you can use the left hand bra bracket to make it smaller, right hand bracket to make it bigger. So I'm going to take it to that sort of area there. Now the opacity 70% is way too high. We need to drop this down. Now you can use the slider or try shortcuts. Try just using the number keys on the keyboard. For example, if I press 1, you'll notice I go to 10%. If I press 5, I go to 50%. If I press 0, I go to 100%. Now the figure I'm looking for is 15%, so I'm going to press 1 and 5 in quick succession. And there we are, we're now in at 15% opacity. If I zoom in using Command, Spacebar, Control, Spacebar, clicking down, you'll notice the way that's just darkened down. Clicking down again, so clicking down once and twice, there it is, that looks pretty good. Perhaps just a little bit more, yep. Right, let's try that. Looking good so far. Moving it to the side, so I'm just sliding myself over by using the space bar. I'm now going to press X on the keyboard. That's going to put white as the foreground color, so we're going to change it from black to white by pressing X on the keyboard. I'm going to take the opacity up. Now I'm going to press 7 on the keyboard. Watch what happens, the opacity will go to 70%. This will allow us to come in and I can just come through and just take it off the edges around this area here. That's looking pretty good, just doing it a little bit off the shoulder before moving up around the area of the hat. Let's take the size of the brush up. I'm going to use the right hand square bracket just to make things a little bit quicker. So just moving down using the space bar. And as we come up around this area here, just around the outside of his hat, that's looking pretty good. Just removing that, dropping the size down to get me in a little bit closer there. Great stuff. Now taking the size right up, using the right hand square bracket, off to the edge there. Great stuff. Right, using Command-0, Control-0 to go out to fit on screen. Let's drop this down out of the way as well. And 
we're going to make the brush much much bigger I'm going to use the right hand square bracket I'm going to take it right up like this that looks good clicking down we can now remove the rest of it you may notice the little red spots uh, with the video recording every time I click down you'll notice the way it radiates out just showing you when I'm using the right click or clicking down now if I just take the size of the brush up just cleaned up those little bits and pieces you can see I've now got the brush off the edge so I'm just using the soft edge brush I'm going to take it round the bottom something like this I just want to take it off the edge coming round again like this just off the edge and up round the top again just fading the edge off using the soft edge of the brush just to reduce that that looks pretty good zooming in using command spacebar control spacebar like the way that's looking so there it is there is our picture so far now we can't work anymore with these layers so what we need to do now is we need to put in a new empty layer and it goes layer 2 let's double click we're going to call this uh, sketch so we know what's on this layer just press in enter or return to apply that we're now going to put these layers into this new sketch layer and we're going to do that by holding down the alt or the option key so hold down your alt or your option key go to layer drop down to merge visible this is going to merge the visible layers that's the ones with the little eye icons the visible ones into this new layer clicking on merge visible in it goes okay we don't need layer one and layer one copy anymore so I've clicked on the top one I'm gonna press and hold down command or control clicking on layer one so they're both now highlighted we can come up we can now click on delete layer and click yes and there it is it's gone right next let's just take a look let's click on our top layer so this is the live layer we're going to come in we're going to click on this little icon here to add a new adjustment layer we're going to come in we're going to check out the levels now taking a look at this you'll notice that some of the blacks are missing here so I'm going to click on this slider I'm going to move this in as we move it in you'll notice the blacks begin to darken down I'm going to take it to this area here coming to the center slider if we just click on this you'll notice the way we can brighten things up let's zoom into the image again using command spacebar control spacebar to pop into let's go into 100 percent right now this is a map of the pixels in our picture and no surprise they are stacked up very much in the light area here the whiter area and you can see if I bring this slider in the way we can reduce that down but I want to be a little bit more subtle so what we're going to do is use the center slider we're going to move this across to the left this is still introducing the lighter pixels as we can see from that bar underneath there and I'm going to take it into this area here that's looking pretty good perhaps just darkening them down a little bit more so moving that in and you'll notice the way the two sliders move together and if we just switch the little eye icon you can see that's the before that's the after that's the sort of look I'm after so I'm going to click on that just to remove it and there it is there's our levels right using command zero control zero to go to fit on screen you'll notice let's just get rid of my brush a second I'll press H to give me my hand tool we got some rather dark lines coming around here so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the sketch layer we're going to come up we're going to put it in a new layer so in it goes and we're just going to click and we're going to call this edit because this is where we can edit it by simply painting in black and white right let's take a look at doing that hand tool selected press command or control to zoom in now the blacks are just a little bit heavy around this area here so we got white as a foreground color I'm going to come up I'm going to pick up my paintbrush this is very big so I'm going to drop it down using the left hand square bracket into something around about that size that would be pretty good and let's just take a look we got the opacity 70% that's way too high I'm going to press T2 on the keyboard that's dropped me down to 20% let's take a look see how this is going to work clicking down and just coming over so I'm now painting in white onto this layer at 20% opacity and we can come through we can just take the sting out of those black lines by just coming in and painting over them like this if I just switch this edit layer on and off you can see what we've done to this switching it back on I'm going to come over this one more time and being as we're in at 20% opacity on the brush it just gives us the option to come over the lines and just reduce them down and then perhaps if you want to take them down a little bit more just click down and over we go again now this is going to take a little bit of time to go over all the areas so I'll just do this 
very, very quickly before showing you what else you can do to your realistic sketch effect. Perhaps just a little bit more off the hat just to bring that down. That will do nicely. Right, let's zoom in over this area here, over the area of the face. So using uh, Command Spacebar, Control Spacebar to zoom in. Now if you've got some areas here which are looking just a little bit too much lineage in, just come over once again using the white set and then we can just remove some of that out. That looks pretty good. So again, just using the white paintbrush, if I just switch it on and off, you can see what we're doing. We're just sort of removing some of that lineage there. Coming underneath like this. Funny life was this simple as well. <laughs> right, coming through and you can see these darker areas. Don't worry, I'll take those out before we finish. And just coming over that, great stuff. Right, so that's removing some of the, the skin sort of marks, tones. But what if you want to add some? Well, once again, you can actually come in. You can start sketching in yourself. So let's take a look at doing that. I'm going to press X on the keyboard. Black is now the foreground color. I'm going to drop the size of my brush right the way down. We're going to take it down into, you can see it's going to 20, 15 pixels there, 10 pixels, something in seven pixels, six, let's go to five pixels. That'd be pretty good. Still got 20% opacity. Let's come in and just take a look. I'm just going to come across here and just roughly come over these. And you can see the way we can just come in and start to emphasize some of these lines coming through here. Just do short little strokes like that. And if I just come in on this one like this, that looks pretty good. And you can now come over. So not only have we applied filter, to actually give us this, that minimum filter, to give us this sketch look, we can actually come in and start sketching ourselves. And I cannot draw, as you may have noticed, I can't draw for peanuts, but using this method, you can actually come in and do a little bit of the work yourself, which is always nice. And you can see just short strokes, just clicking down with the mouse and just bringing it around. Those short strokes just help to emphasize it and give it that sort of realistic pencil sketch look. So go on, I'm just going to do a little bit more with this. Uh, you'll see the finished image, which I'll put on my website, so you can take a look at that. But uh, please, you know, give it a try. See what you come up with using Command-0, Control-0. As I said, uh, you know, it's going to take a little bit more work yet, so I don't want to bore you all as I go through that. But uh, just looking at it so far, looking really good. Please with the way this is turning out, so go on, give it a go. Until the next time, it's happy imaging and take care.